Hello, superheroes. It's Miss Ross. And today, I want to read you a story called Gilbert the Great. Look, I found my little chalkboard. <laughs> so, this story is called Gilbert the Great, and it's about Gilbert, who's a shark, and his friend, who is a remora, which is a type of fish, his name is Raymond. So Gilbert and Raymond are like best of friends. Then Raymond moves away. Has that ever happened to you where you had a friend who moved away? It's sad, huh? Well, let's see what happens in the story. So this story is called Gilbert the Great. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. Did you notice that they called Ray, uh, Gilbert the White Shark a pup, a little pup? So maybe that means that sharks are called pups when they're little. Interesting fact. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. What a good friend at Raymond. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped collect them for the tooth fairy. Look at his teeth falling out. Remember we learned about sharks and how they lose a whole row of teeth and they all grow back? Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Tide and seek, get it? <laughs> then, one day, Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. Say, aww. I don't want to go, but Mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mom hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Look at his face. He looks so sad. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The Thrashing Threshers are playing the Tidal Tigers. Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remoras everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. So, how does Raymond feel? Well, how does Gilbert feel about Raymond being gone? He's obviously hurt, sad, and upset. That's the problem. Let's see what happens. It's my fault Raymond moved, Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week, I called him a sucker. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom said. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could make him smile. Look at the clownfish. Remember Finding Nemo? And they uh, said that all clownfishes are funny and they wanted um, Nemo's dad to tell a joke and he was horrible at it. He was like, hey, that's not true. Well, these clownfish are hilarious. Look at them. Putting on a little show to try to chill, cheer Gilbert up. Is it working? Doesn't look like it. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the mallet. There are plenty fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert. Have you ever heard of the phrase, there are plenty fish in the sea? It refers to if you have someone in your life and you lose the person in your life, that there's a lot of other people that you could be friends with. 
Gilbert was still sulking when mom came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried and his warm tears mingled with the cold ocean water. Wow, Gilbert's really having a hard time. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into the shallow water. Shallow means that it's not really that deep. Rocked by gentle waves, they gazed out at the seashore and the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's new home is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said Mom. That is nice, isn't it? I would love to be on a beach right now. <laughs> I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. <laughs> so look, it's a ship that's wrecked. And his mom, as a treat, is allowing them to go find food that's in the wreck. It's known as junk food because they might find, like, human food instead of, like, food that sharks eat. So that's why they call it junk food. It's funny. Story's almost over. Maybe there's going to be an upside. Scrunch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and pits of old boat, he spotted a small remora crying in the shadows. Let's stop. Do you think that Remora is going to be Raymond? Yes or no? Okay, let's see. As Gilbert was biting, he spotted a small Remora crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. So, nope, it's not Raymond because it's a female. Oh, and look, this is where she is. That doesn't look like Raymond, does it? Nope. What's the matter, Gilbert asked. Mom and I moved and I had to leave my shark behind. Sounds familiar? She sobbed. Now, I don't have any friends. My remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. I'm so lonely. Gilbert and the remora looked at each other and smiled, wobbly smiles. Gilbert, <laughs> I'm Gilbert, said Gilbert. I'm Rita, said the remora. Rita the remora, just like Raymond the remora. Do you think they're going to be friends? Can girls and guys be friends? Yes, they can. Just then, a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue sea. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. What do you think she's going to say? Probably yes. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said, and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. The end. Oh, isn't that a great story? So listen, this story teaches us that sometimes friends may move away. We can always write them and call them. But what if you want someone that's there with you, like how Raymond was with Gilbert all the time? Is it possible to find new friends? Yeah. Guess what, you guys? Some of you might be even going to a new school next year because we opened a new school around the corner. Don't be sad. Some of the friends that you're friends with now, you might not see at school every day but guess what you can meet new friends and have new adventures with your new friends so here's what i want your reading response to be today i want you to think of a friend that you may have had before that might have moved away and think about a new friend that you made after that um just like gilbert had raymond now he has rita the remora so Sometimes we have friends, they may move away, or we may move away, but you can always meet a new friend. All right, you guys, I love you, and have a great day, and good Friday to you.